As if working in the Defense Industrial Base or DIB wasn't stressful enough already, the entire ecosystem is in the midst of a massive shakeup. Of course, what I'm referring to is the Cybersecurity Maturity Model Certification, or CMMC. If this is the first time you've ever heard that phrase, I wouldn't say that you're necessarily in trouble yet. You still have a little bit of time to prepare. But that preparation window is starting to close. But maybe you are already familiar with the acronym and heard that the DoD recently pushed out the massive update, CMMC 2.0. Or, you knew what level your organization needed to pursue in the first version, saw the changes proposed in the second, and don't know where you land anymore. Plus, if the DoD hasn't finalized CMMC yet, is it even worth putting energy towards figuring out where you land right now? And that's a great question, but the answer is yes. Even though CMMC isn't set in stone yet, it's going to be a requirement listed on contracts with the DoD. In its first iteration, the DoD planned to place it on its contracts by October 1st, 2025. As it stands now, after the introduction of 2.0, the original cutoff date no longer exists. All we know is that final rulemaking could happen between July 2022 and December 2023. Even without a new date though, if the DoD originally gave a five-year window for its contractors to achieve the certification, it takes a long time to achieve it. Hence why you need to start right now. However, you can't start your journey towards CMMC without understanding what level you need to achieve in the first place. This is a great place for me to say that level three is now level two. If you don't know what that means, don't worry. Just know that the majority of DIB organizations are going to fall under level one or level two. Hi everyone, I'm Matt from eTactics and today I'm going to explain everything you need to know about CMMC level two requirements. Before we get started though, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. While you're down there, hit that alert bell icon next to it as well, so when we post new helpful content, you get notified. Now before anything else, we need to establish some common ground, which is why I'm going to start with an overview of CMMC 2.0. The CMMC 2.0 model categorizes contractors and suppliers into levels. Levels change based on the types of information involved in performing the contracts. There are three levels in total in CMMC 2.0. Let's take a quick look at the differences. Under CMMC 2.0, companies will most likely need to hire a certified third-party assessor organization, or C3PAO. C3PAOs certify implementation. Level one is for any contractor or supplier who receives federal contract information, or FCI. The basic cybersecurity requirements for level one are currently listed in FAR 52.204-21. Level two requirements are for any contractor or supplier who receives or generates controlled unclassified information, or CUI. The advanced requirements come from the 110 practices within NIST SP 800-171. Level three will add a subset of expert requirements from NIST SP 800-172, but it will only be for large integrators who receive or generate CUI deemed most critical to national security. A team of assessors from the Defense Industrial Based Cybersecurity Assessment Center, or DIBCAC, will certify the implementation of these expert controls. The DOD estimated that as few as 160 companies will fall into this last category. Now that we're on the same page, let's talk about what you can expect with CMMC Level 2. The Level 2 scoping guide released in December 2021 is a good starting point for you. Identifying the people, facilities, and technologies within the scope is a key part of your journey. There are 110 controls for CMMC Level 2 that come directly from the NIST SP 800-171 what I already mentioned. However, assessors will evaluate the implementation of these controls using NIST SP 800-171A. That version contains 320 assessment objectives derived from these 110 controls. Some objectives refer to specific categories of assets within scope, including people, facility, equipment, and processes. Meanwhile, other objectives cover multiple categories. Now, let's talk about practice. CMMC Level 2 practices, that is. The practices listed in CMMC Level 2 come from NIST SP 800-171 Rev 2, which grouped 110 security controls into 14 domains. Access Controller AC with 22 practices, Awareness Training AT with 3 practices, Audit and Accountability or AU with 9 practices, Configuration Management CM with 9 practices, Identification and Authentication IA with 11 practices, Incident Response or IR with 3 practices, Maintenance MA with 6 practices, Media Protection MP with 9 practices, Personnel Security PS with 2 practices, Physical Protection PE with 6 practices, Risk Assessment or RA with 3 practices, Security Assessment CA with 4 practices, 
System and Communications Protection SC with 16 practices, and System and Information Integrity SI with seven practices. Now each practice has a short name identifier for quick reference. Practices are also identified using the following identification number format. DD, the two letter abbreviation of the practice domain, L, pound sign, the maturity level that introduces the practice, and REQ or REC is the NIST SP 800-171 REV2 control number. Within each practice are one or more assessment objectives. These get listed alphabetically beginning with parentheses A. To mark a practice as complete, an OSC must meet all corresponding assessment objectives. The practice statement describes the culmination of all corresponding assessment objectives within a particular practice. Even though there's still some time until the official CMMC rulemaking happens, you need to get started now if you fall within a level two classification. Of course, the biggest argument against this point and getting started now is the CMMC, AB, and DOD keep changing requirements, so I don't think it's a good idea to get started now when the final changes could be totally different in the end. Now that argument isn't as solid as you think though. Although the jump from CMMC 1.2 to 2.0 brought forth a lot of new requirements, the main theme still remains. In the future, the DOD isn't going to award defense industrial based contractors with contracts if they aren't compliant with CMMC. That's why you need to get started as soon as possible. If you'd like to learn more about CMMC Level 2 requirements, reach out to eTactics. And you already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below. Well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to our YouTube channel.